Well hello YouTube, this is Layout123 with another review and today we're going to be taking a look at the 06 Shunter by Hornby. This is one of those models that everybody really knows, very very um, common in several different train sets and formats and packs that you can buy by Hornby. So without any further ado I thought I'd do a review of this train. Now this particular one has featured several times on my channel in several different videos I've often used it to compare with other trains and I've even used it in a couple of chanting videos and a few of my other silly little videos along the way so I think it's certainly earned its place in my collection and let's find out a little bit more about it and you may be wondering what's the box like this isn't actually the box for it but it's pretty much the box that it would be in, it's pretty much just a standard ordinary Hornby package box but we don't want to look at that, we want to look at what's inside the box and that is this wonderful little loco so to start with I love the um, yellow parts here, I can't think of the name very bad of me but I'm sure my audience will comment below and tell me that and um, the thing about this train really is, is it's such a great starter train for younger children and that's this is one of the first trains I ever got this is I think it is yeah my first diesel I ever got got about seven years ago now and um, I have loved this train completely I mean the front part tension locks broken I don't know if you can see that there and there are a few little scrapes around it here and there but I like it and I like it a lot and I don't think, well I think if I hadn't have bought all these 040s, and I do have quite a few of them, then I wouldn't be in the hobby. Because I know like all the older people do sort of say that 040s, yeah they are quite kiddie-ish, but that is the whole point I really feel that 040s are, are there to get you started into the hobby. I think they're also there because they are just great fun and very very reliable and that's something that I can certainly say about this particular one it is so so reliable just having a look at the side you can see the 06003 the running number and there's some little badge there or emblem I'm not really sure what that's all about and the British Rail logo features a little horn on top and some little white posts no cabin detail whatsoever but windows on this one which is very nice feature if we look underneath then you can see all the licensing info to do with Hornby made in China and the fact that it is a um, 12 volt train along with the gears, the power pickups and everything else which we always see with these style of toys which is, which is something I think that makes them really great is the fact that you have they're so simple to take apart and they're so simple to repair if they do go wrong often it's normally just if the power pickups a bit sticky on one side or if there's a bit of hair in it you can quite easily take it apart and deal with it and that is something that the O4O's really do win on for me and just sort of proving my point if this if the power pickups on this are no good and I need to do something with that and take it apart it will take me days days and days and days of thinking about it I know this is so much more complex and so much more detailed but if you're looking for simplicity the 040 is the way forward for you 100% because you can't fault it for that I mean it is so so simple and another good thing for me personally about these is the fact that um, they pretty much work very well together if you put an 040 with another 040 it will often work pretty well as an evasive unit sometimes with all the larger trains some of them are geared differently but most of the 040s are geared pretty similarly apart from the Bagnall shunter which is now got a much slower motor on it but this is sort of the old school style of 040 and this is the classic version of the 06 in essence but if we talk about the retail value of one of these, I mean out of the box they're worth very very little nowadays 15 to 20 in the box you might get 25 for it but I think Hornby have pretty much moved on with these but without them Hornby I don't think would be as successful as it is in the current market 
because O4Os have certainly helped Hornby to survive in the fact that younger people buy them and so there definitely is a market for the elderly collecting these I think that's something I'm going to collect for the whole of my um, life really I mean there's nothing super amazing about the detail on them but they're just quite they're quite charming in their own little way the O4Os and whether it's a steam or diesel like this they, they do have a lot of character quite often I think I've talked long enough and I think it's time we took it over to the layout and gave it a run okay so there it is on the layout and let's set it off very smooth runner doesn't have too many problems when it comes to power pickups but that's not all though for O's I have had some it's a bit of potluck really on that side of things but you just got to take care of them and look after them I think if I was rating it probably I'd say 8 out of 10 I mean it runs pretty nicely but to make it a 10 I mean you've got to up the detail and that's something that Backman certainly have done brilliantly I don't particularly have a Backman version of this but I know Backman's is pretty pretty superior in that sense and I think that's pretty much it for today guys so thanks for watching I hope you like this video and there's a lot more to come in the future so I think I'm just gonna say thanks for watching and see you all soon